15 picks, 20 picks, whatever. Like, I want purpose with this stuff. We're trying to get better today. Here we go, hard. Yeah, my focus on working out uh, out, in, out here in Phoenix is just getting better every day before the draft. Uh, that's what I want to do. I want to be the best player I could be, be the best version of myself. So I know all the work I have to put in and I come out to the gym every day. I do what I got to do just to get myself better, to be prepared. Basketball got introduced to me at a young age, uh, since I was a kid. Playing outside in the front yard with my brothers and I mean, I've just always been competitive with my brothers and we played all the sports growing up, but basketball is a sport that stuck with me. Being the youngest of three, uh, I mean, it wasn't always the greatest for me being the youngest because, I mean, they was always bigger, faster, stronger, and usually beat me at everything. So having that, that kind of that kind of what gave me my competitive drive. Once I grew up, I decided I wanted to focus on basketball. So I stopped playing all the sports in high school and just focus on basketball. and. I wanted to be the greatest basketball player I could be, so I put all my attention and all my work into basketball. My freshman year, uh, I didn't make varsity, and that, that kind of what drove me. Uh, I know I wanted to be on varsity as a freshman, but it wasn't God's plan. But I mean, from that day on, I worked as hard as I can, and I felt like I gave it, I had a chance to make it to the next level just because of my work ethic. Here, here, and came all the way through, right? I gave you the next one, you sat, what did you do? came all the way through again. The feeling and the motion were the same. That's exactly what you want. You have to be purposeful here. I don't care if you're in the top 10 pick, 20 pick, whatever. Like, I want purpose with this. Stuff. We're trying to get better today. Here we go, hard. It kind of hit me that I could be an NBA talent and an NBA prospect and come out early, kind of halfway throughout the season, but I never looked at the mock drafts during the season and worried about any of that. I didn't listen to a lot of people and I was just focused on winning and focused on my team and that's just, that's just how it was, but it kind of happened when I was playing against some of the bigger players and just competing with them, being able to play with them. That's when I kind of realized I have a shot. To not be known from a couple years back to potentially a lottery pick. It's a humble experience for sure. This just coming from Lubbock, Texas, not being ranked and just doing the things I've done and the success I've had, it just gives people hope and you know people hopefully people can see me and see what I've done and just just stay humble and see the things the work I put in and be able to see that and just know my story is bigger than me. And from my story and my journey I want I want people to know just don't let anybody tell you what you can't do. Anything is possible, you keep God first and you keep working. You can do anything you set your mind to and that's kind of what I did from my position. I wasn't ranked, I wasn't the biggest recruit, but I kept God first and I kept working and you can put your mind to anything and it'll work out.